In this video I'm going to review the Casio FX991 ES Plus. Um, I consider this to be an excellent calculator, it's currently my personal favourite and believe me I've used a lot of calculators. Have a look at my channel, you'll see there's, there's loads of them. And so I'll just show you some of the amazing things this calculator can do and all of the functions, just a quick run through, what can this calculator actually do for you. Um, one, some of my favourite things is it can work with um, square roots effortlessly so it can it knows that root 96 can be simplified to 4 root 6 um, it can work with fractions it follows all the sort of standard conventions that you're used to say 5 to 8 over 56 that gives you 66 over 7 it knows how to do that um, say you wanted to add a quarter to that you can do all sorts of operations with fractions displayed in a nice format as so and it knows how to simplify that it even knows things like um, common denominator um, well, of course it knows that. It knows how to simplify denominators, so it'll rationalize this for you. Um, it's got all the sort of basic statistics that you would need, um, so you can do combinations, like so. Um, let's go into the, some of the modes that are built into this calculator. So we'll start with um, complex and we'll move on to the statistics complex you can work with complex numbers like so if you can you can divide them 4i like so and it knows how to present these in the right format um, so let's look at statistics you've got that one variable statistics multivariable statistics and you've got all these different types of regression linear regression exponential regression so in linear regression you can put in some data points and it will find the line that goes through the rather the line of best fit so let's just put this is in statistics we enter our data the AC button saves in this calculator then if you press shift you can get back into the mode so we're going to shift stat um, 4 and then we can say 3 and that gives us a standard deviation that's one type of standard deviation the other type um, is 4 that's 1 as you would expect that's the n minus one standard deviation. Let's keep going through it. Equations, one of my favorite functions. This is super useful. So this is an equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. You solve these all the time. And say you had something like x squared plus two x plus three. The calculator will solve it and it knows complex numbers and it will present you it in that form. So that's extremely useful. Um, mode one puts the calculator back to normal matrices great function um, you can enter some matrix let's just put in a two by two matrix one two three four ac saves it and we can do all sorts of things with the matrix so we've got shift four in the matrix dimension we can edit the data we can access the matrices we can find the determinant um, let's just do that so in the determinant of shift matrix we put in matrix a and th there it does it calculates the determinant for us um, you can also take inverses, all sorts. Inverse, you use this minus one. You put in the matrix, put in minus one, that'll give you the inverse. Um, you also got vectors. So you can put in a vector A, let's make it three. So one, two, three is quite a nice vector. AC saves that to the memory. Shift, five, gets you into vector. And you can do all sorts of operations with vectors. Um, you can take dot products if you had a vector A and a vector B, you can take cross products, um, all sorts, great function. Uh, you can also use sigma notation, um, exponentials, you can solve function here, you can evaluate things, you can actually take, um, put it back into mode 1, you can do integrals, so say you want the integral between 0 and five of just, uh, just put an x, something nice and simple. Um, and you, this is the alpha function, x, and there it'll evaluate the integral for you, nice and simple. Really quite a useful function, same thing, you, could, you can take derivatives at a point, kind of numerical differentiation, which is quite useful. So there you have it, there's kind of a very quick overview of the things this calculator can do. If this calculator is allowed to be used, um, sometimes there's restrictions because of the functions that this thing has. If you're allowed to use this calculator, 
it's the best. It's, it's a really, really excellent calculator. Um, and I can't imagine you getting to a level at which you would no longer find this calculator useful. So if you bought this calculator, really you don't have to replace it unless you explicitly are told you have to have a graphic calculator. So as an all-round calculator, this really is quite perfect for you. Really good for engineers. Um, so basically my recommendation is I'd buy this calculator. I have a huge pile of calculators because I do this channel and this is the one that I use all the time. It's my default calculator. So hopefully this review has been helpful, you now know the stuff this calculator can do. Um, a lot of people don't know that this calculator can do just so much. And finally, just thank you very much for watching.